Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Coppin State University. The graduation ceremony will begin at 12.30 p.m. In the meantime, restrooms are located in each corner of the concourse except for the main entrance. Our concession stands are also open if you'd like to grab a quick bite or a drink. Enjoy the ceremony.
I want to thank the mayor for having my back today because uh, now I'm all nervous. So I want to say, first of all, good afternoon. Thank you, everyone. To the students, the teachers, parents, and staff who has helped us forge a way despite everything that we've gone through. The obstacles we have faced the last four years have been overwhelming at times and challenging. Life forced us to isolate from our friends and the world, and it has been a challenge. To adapt and readjust to what we all viewed as normal. In spite of the challenges, we stand here today strong, determined, and eager to begin a new chapter. It has truly been my pleasure to stand here as the principal celebrating the achievements Again, he's helping me out. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all today to celebrate the achievements of our graduating students. My heartfelt congratulations to all the graduates on your accomplishments. This class has really rocked college acceptances. The school went from three to 30 this year. You've got a lot of postgraduates standing out here today. Let's give them a round of applause. It is my pleasure to introduce the awesome Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts family. So we're going to switch again. This has just been what a morning. So we're going to move to the next thing, which is going to be the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the rest Parts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night. That our flag was still there. Oh, oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave? Congratulations, graduate of 2023.
So now it's my pleasure to introduce the platform to us. I'm going to start with my assistant principal, Ms. Cassell, Mrs. Pulliam, another assistant principal, Mrs. Lagasse, our guidance counselor, and the awesome Mrs. Cooper, who is our college and career readiness coordinator. On the left, I have Chief Nielsen, and I also have Commissioner Roberts, and our esteemed valedictorian and salutatorian for the school year. So it is also my pleasure to introduce to you our mayor, an honor and a pleasure to welcome Mayor Brandon Scott to the graduation ceremony for the amazing students at the Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts. Good afternoon. Whoa. We graduate in the class of 2023 today. We are going to do better than that. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. We got to make some noise for these young people. They work too hard. You work too hard. These teachers and staff, they work too hard to get to this point. For us to be acting like the Ravens just lost to the Steelers in here. Good afternoon. Madam Principal, did you just say you're a Steelers fan? Nope. Nobody's perfect, everybody. Nobody's perfect. Class of 23, I came here today to say two things to you. Congratulations and thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you for believing in yourselves and pushing through whatever adversity came your way to make it to this point. This is your day. Celebrate it fully. This accomplishment is exceptional for each and every one of you. Your education, young people, is something that no one can take away from you. And let's be very clear that this is not the end, but merely the beginning of the rest of your life. Class of 23, your potential is limitless. But whether you reach your full potential is totally up to you. Because no one can keep you from your greatness but you. The only question that will remain after you walk out of Coppin State University today with that diploma is if you had the courage to reach your full potential. The immortal Muhammad Ali once said, he who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Class of 23, y'all been, been through too much to not take risks. Continue to take risks. Fail, try, but most importantly, be uncomfortable so that you make yourself the best you you can possibly be. We are immensely proud of you, class of 2023, and I can't wait till you go out into the world and continue to prove them people wrong about what Baltimore's young people are made of because we know you are made of greatness. Thank you very much and congratulations. Congratulations, City Schools Class of 2023. Words really can't describe just how proud I am of each and every one of you. I also want to thank and congratulate your families and community members, as well as school leaders, staff, and teachers who have worked alongside you and supported you in reaching this very important day. It's your hard work and perseverance that's enabled you to overcome all of the obstacles. In fact, you persisted when many others would have quit, and you put in the long hours of hard work to achieve your goals. It's actually this work ethic that will bring continued success throughout your lives. Whether you continue in school, strike out into the workforce, or both, you have demonstrated the fortitude, the commitment to excellence, and the resilience that you will need to achieve your goals. There will, of course, be times when you'll feel defeated. And during those times, I'd like for you to remember these words from Maya Angelou. You may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are what you can rise from, how you can still come out of it. 
My heartfelt congratulations, class of 2023. All of Baltimore City is cheering for you and your families and on behalf of everyone in city schools. Congratulations. Good afternoon, families, friends, and students. I'm Ms. Legassi, the school counselor at Augusta Phil Savage Institute of Visual Arts. And it is my honor today to introduce the class of 2023's valid Victorian and salutatorian. Throughout their four years in high school, these two students have excelled academically, and by doing this, earned the two highest grade point averages in the graduating class. Their achievement is especially noteworthy due to half of their high school career being during COVID and having to adapt to taking classes virtually, which was tough on every student. They overcame these obstacles and continue to strive for excellence. Again, it is my honor to introduce these students. And first I wanna to call to up our salutatorian, Raven Harris. I am doing this on my phone, so please bear with me. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> to say our high school experience was unique is putting it mildly. I think we're all gonna be leaving with a funny story. Freshman year was by far the most bizarre. However, sophomore year was harder in a different way. It was the year of COVID. We didn't get to interact with each other as much as we wanted to. It was hard to feel connected. It was just go to class and pass. Junior year was a chill year. We were coming back into the building and getting back into the swing of things. It was also the year I had Miss Teets. She was everything you want in a math teacher. Chill, nice, and supportive. <laughs> Finally, we come to senior year. It was a big mix of stress, excitement, and relaxation. But we had Miss Cooper and Miss Tates who advised us. Inauguration was in, back in November. Our class colors were black and gold but nobody wore black, only wore black, <laughs> sorry. It was a nice ceremony. Back in spring, I was trying to get into college. I had applied to several, but I wanted to make sure I got everything ready for decision day. Ms. Cooper made it much easier, but it was still a stressful endeavor. When decision day came around, Ms. Cooper made sure I had the spotlight when she announced I had gotten a full ride to Notre Dame where I'll be studying photography. <laughs> Flash forward to prom. When prom queen was announced at the end of the night, I was glad my friend Floyd won. The most surprising part of senior year was farewell. I was, I loved being named most likely to be your future boss. It was an honor. I never thought I'd be salutatorian. Before my high school, before high school, I had never been confident in my academics. So it was a nice surprise. At the end of farewell, I could only hand out one rose to someone who helped me get through but I wish I could hand out so many more. A special thank you to Ms. Tates, Ms. Thompson, Mr. Bennett, Mr. Goggins, and Ms. M. White for helping me through. In addition to the memories, I want to leave, with the, you, leave you with these two quotes that stuck with me. Accept no one's definition 
of your life to find yourself. You can't let others tell you what you should, you should be doing with your life. We've all graduated high school. At least we got that going for us. But we've all got a lot, life, a lot of life left to live and define ourselves. Always remember, a meaningful life is not about being rich, being perfect, being highly educated, or being perfect. It's about being humble, being real, being able to share ourselves, and to touch the lives of others. My hope for all of you is that you create a meaningful life, whatever that looks for you. Thank you. Now I'd like to call our valid Victorian, the student with the highest grade point average, Tamika Green. Welcome, friends, family, teachers, staff, advisors, and my fellow classmates. My name is Tameka Green, and it is my honor to stand before you all as the valedictorian in order to commemorate the accomplishments and memories from our great class. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> the last four years have been challenging for all of us. And there were times when we all wanted to give up, but we didn't because giving up was never an option. We kept going. <sighs> Bear with me, please. For me, it was hard from the beginning. During freshman year, I didn't start school until October 2019. When I finally started, I thought I didn't have the courage to pass after missing a whole month of school. The friends I met help to point me in the right direction. In sophomore year, we were in the middle of a pandemic and had to be seen virtually on the computer, if we were seen at all. <laughs> Some of my classmates never turned their cameras on. I pushed through by keeping in touch with all my teachers when I needed help. I want to appreciate Ms. Bacolson, Ms. Tates, Mr. Gamble, Mr. Bennett, Mr. Goggins and Ms. Kabaj so much for helping me and the others get to where we are today. Junior year was an even harder year academically. There were so many essays and projects. Some we had to do by ourselves, but mostly in groups. The college-based work was challenging, but we all got it done in the end. And I appreciate Aaliyah, Floyd, and Deshaun for coming together and helping each other succeed. For senior year, I thought I would have the senioritis feeling, and I did. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I did. I was over it, but I kept at it. I thought it would be like 11th grade, but it was different. For one thing, I was approved for Urban Alliance, which is an internship program for high schoolers. Some of my peers, like Ty J, Devin, Floyd, Ryan, and Doriel, continued their internships throughout the year but I realized early that it wasn't for me. Personally, I had to focus on my mental health and my academics. I had anxiety because I didn't have transportation and I stressed about getting home, getting home late and having trouble catching up with my schoolwork. If I had stayed in the internship, I would have worried that my grades would drop, my GPA would drop too, and I wouldn't be the valedictorian who was standing before you today. It was a very hard decision to make, but I know I made the right choice for me. This has been a year and a few inspirational memories stand out for me. In spite of my senioritis, I received top 10 GPA and perfect attendance awards in November. So many trips to colleges with Ms. Cooper and college planning trips to her office as well. On decision day, I proudly announced that I am attending an HBCU. Coppin State University for Journalism. Go Eagles! <laughs> Suddenly, it was time for finals. They were easy and simple, but intense. 
The last exam of my high school career wasn't a test at all. We were all in teams to decorate the best cake with a theme of the story that we read. Themes had been difficult for me all year, but working together, finding a theme wasn't hard. We built characters with Jolly Ranchers for the body, blueberries for the head, and licorice for hair and arms. Of course, my team won. Everything was fine until Doriel snatched my character and ate it. I'm still mad at him for that. <laughs> at junior prom, I didn't make it early enough to really spend time with my friends, so I made sure to arrive to senior prom on time, and I did my big one this year. And did. <laughs> Four days at the prom, May 24, 2023. It was a day to say farewell to Augusta Phelps. It was an emotional ceremony and it brought all of us so much joy. Miss Lagasse had kept the valedictorian a secret. So when my name was called, it was unexpected. All the claps, people calling my name. It was an exciting moment, a moment like I've never felt before. High school has taught us many lessons. We've learned that it's okay to be scared, to be frustrated, and to be afraid. Take some deep breaths. Take time for yourself if you need it. If you're struggling, get the help that you need. I thank Ms. Woods for being that for me. We learned that it gets hard before it gets easy. It took me a while to get up on that Imagine Math Leadership Board. I know where I'm going in life, and I know I'm going to pass these college classes just like I did in high school. We learn to choose our own path, to do what's best for ourselves, not what works for anybody else. My decision is my decision and my path is my path based on what's best for me. Before I go, a last few thank yous. First to Ms. Tates and Ms. Cooper for being our senior advisors. Also to Ms. Newbord for being one of the best teachers. Finally, Thank you to all the staff at Augusta Fells, the administration, and our families for supporting us over the years. I will always remember how you didn't give up on us, and I know that we will make you proud. One of my favorite quotes is, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. My beautiful dream through all the high school has been to be a journalist. I love to write, love to take notes, and love to study the topic. Now that I'm starting college in the fall, I'm excited to learn more about this career. Just as I had support here at Augusta Fells from family and friends, I need to make sure that I seek the same support at college. Surround yourself with people who will help you just as you will help them. Class of 2023, I hope that whatever you want to do in life, you reach the goals that you always wanted to accomplish. Keep in touch. Keep pursuing your beautiful dreams. After high school, there will be new friends, new journeys. We never know what the future may bring. And I hope everyone succeeds and that I will still see all of you around. I'll miss you. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2023. I'm Maryland's First Lady Dawn Moore, and I'm humbled to be your keynote speaker this year. My husband, Governor Wes Moore, and I are so proud of each and every one of you. And I also want to extend my gratitude and appreciation to your parents, your friends, your family members, and everyone else who has helped you get to this point. It takes a village and you can never forget the support system that helped you get here. And that includes the incredible elected officials and members of the Board of Education. Your high school graduation is a powerful rite of passage and one each of you should be deeply proud of for accomplishing. While this chapter in your life is coming to an end, your education, your high school degree is and always will be one of the most valuable assets you have. Not just because of what it will allow you to do, but because of what it represents. Your high school degree says that you've not only set goals for yourself, but that you've achieved those goals. Your high school degree says that you're not only someone who works hard, but that you're someone who knows success. Your degree says you don't just strive for excellence, you earn it. But your work is far from over. As you enter this next chapter in life, I charge you to take everything you've learned over the course of your high school career and use it for the betterment of yourself and others. 
Continue to aim high. Continue to work hard. Continue to be excellent. There will be those who try to tell you that you should aim low, that you should take shortcuts, that just fine is good enough. You know these people, you've already met many of them throughout your life. I'm talking about people who underestimated you. I'm talking about people who tried to talk down to you. I'm talking about people who tried to keep you from realizing just how beautiful you are. I've known many of these people throughout my life. People who have judged me based on the color of my skin. People who have looked down on me because I'm a woman. These kinds of folks will continue to throw obstacles in front of you, no matter your background and no matter your experience. But when you reach those obstacles, just know you have the power to overcome them. You've already shown the world just how strong you are. Every day, remember this moment and use it to push forward. Understand that they are small and you are big. Never lose sight of that bigger picture in mind. And if you do that, I know you will shine very bright and show the entire world what you're made of. Class of 2023, stride into the future knowing that your education has prepared you for what's to come. And you are the people of our state and our world in this moment, and we need you. Congratulations, and God bless you. And I can't wait to see what you're going to accomplish. Again, I want to thank the students, the staff, the teachers, and the parents for who helped us get here today. It definitely took a village to be able for us to reach the finish line. The graduates of the class of 2023, you guys are incredible, as well as the staff is incredible. If you are an Augusta Fells, Savitz Institute Visual of Arts teacher, can you please stand? All staff members, please stand. Everybody contributed to where we are today. Ms. Dunn, please stand. The credit goes to the people standing here today. They have worked tirelessly to ensure that we get to the finish line. Countless hours, times, and days to make sure the kids get what they need so they can be successful when they leave us. As I stated earlier, this class really are an impressive bunch of kids. We have been through a lot as a school community, but that didn't stop anyone from coming to school every day doing what they needed to do to graduate. There are a great number of kids sitting out here are going to post-secondary institution. I think there's eight kids that are going to cop in this school year, coming up in the fall. It's really impressive. Please give them a round of applause. Your steadfast and unwavering dedication to your education has the, is the reason why we're all sitting here today. Do not take this accomplishment lightly, and remember what I've told you, no one can take it from you. My wish for you is to remember against all odds today you are standing here. Cherish this moment. Remember friendships and family brighten our lives and provide the confidence we need when we doubt ourselves. Make no mistake, it's going to be harder and it's going to be different. But that doesn't mean you don't have the tools inside of you to make that happen because you absolutely do. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've always imagined and live it to the fullest. Everyone, please welcome and congratulate the class of 2023 with me.
Welcome graduates, families, and friends. My name is Kara Cassell, and it is my honor to announce the award recipients for the class of 2023. I'll start with the Community Service Award. This year's award recipient spent over 300 hours during his high school career volunteering. His time at Still Meadow Community Church included distributing food to residents in the community. In addition, he assisted the U.S. Forest Service with maintaining trails at local state parks, assisting with the upkeep of the plants and trees in the state park, and even driving the utility vehicles. He taught classes about air quality, water, and soil. Please join me in honoring Larry Douglas for his selfless contributions to our community. Come up, Larry. Okay, the next award is the Difference Maker Award. This award honors a deserving individual who exemplifies making a difference in the Augusta Fells community. This year's recipient used his love for sports to lay a foundation for the resurgence of athletics at Augusta Fells. He organized several student and staff basketball games, flag football games with our neighboring school, BDJ, and participated in the men's basketball and track team. Please join me in welcoming Dwayne Wheeler as the recipient. Okay, the last award that I will announce is the Principal's Award. The Principal's Award will be presented to a student who exemplifies what it means to be an FSEVA scholar. This student maintains high academic standards and has over the past four years. He has impeccable attendance and is attending the University of Maryland Eastern Shore next year. Please join me in welcoming and honoring Devin Hockaday for the Principal's Award. Good morning, afternoon, I'm sorry. My name is Ms. Tawan Cooper. I am the post-secondary advisor at the Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts. I have four awards to present today. The first award, <clears throat> the Unsung Hero Award, goes to the student who persevered through some very challenging situations. She did not let those situations, challenges stop her from taking advantage of opportunities that enhanced her high school career, like peer group connections and Urban Alliance. This student will be pursuing a degree in nursing from my alma mater, the Coppin State University. Please welcome to the stage to receive her award, Miss Tangier Floyd. <laughs> That's our prom queen too, y'all.
The next award goes to the student with the third highest grade point average, the gentle giant who is quietly drafting a plan to better his community and city. He has received the Troy E. Quinn and the J.C. Bozeman grants, which total $20,000 over four years towards his tuition at Morgan State University. Please help me celebrate Mr. Duriel Hall. The next award goes to the student with the second highest GPA. This year's salutatorian was ambitious and determined during the college application process, applying to seven colleges and receiving acceptance to five of them. She received a scholarship from Notre Dame of Maryland University, totaling over $92,000 over four years where she will be attending in the fall. Please help me celebrate again, Miss Raven Harris. The next award goes to the student who is willing to put in the work and goes after what she wants. She worked hard to maintain her GPA because she values the benefit of success. She applied and was accepted to the two prestigious HBCUs in Baltimore City. She was awarded a grant totaling $20,000 over four years from Morgan State University. However, she will be using the $20,000 over four years from the Gold Merit Award issued by this HBCU, my alma mater, Coppin State University. Please help me congratulate Miss Tamika Green. Okay, these awards are for academic achievement in content area. Please celebrate Mr. Shamar Adams for winning the math award. Ms. Ryan Lambert, the science award. Mr. Shenard McCoy, the English award. We have three visual arts awards as a visual arts school. I think we should. <laughs> Mr. Dante Jones, the CAD award. That's computed eight, computer aided drafting and design. Interactive media production, Mr. Nelson Terry. Artfully Creative Award, Ms. Jasmine Duplantier. Thank you. Next, we will have the recommendation of the class by our principal, Ms. Kamala Carnes.
So this is the part we've all been waiting for, right? This is the meat of everything that we've done for the last four years. I need my glasses for this one. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as the principal of Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements for both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Emily Nielsen, Chief of Human Capital. Thank you, Principal Carnes. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as Chief of Human Capital, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2023 for the conferring of diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Chantel Roberts, Commissioner of the Baltimore City School Board. Thank you. Good afternoon. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal and the acknowledgement of the Chief of Human Capital and by virtue of the authority vested in me as a commissioner of the Baltimore City School Board, I take extreme pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2023 for the conferring of your high school diplomas. Come get these diplomas, y'all. Good afternoon. Oh, I really should not be on a mic. Good afternoon, everybody. If I um, graduate, should go ahead and stand. Come on up. My name is Mrs. Pulley. I'm the assistant principal of the Augusta Fells Savage Institute of Visual Arts, and I couldn't be more proud to have this job of calling each and every one of these beautiful faces. First up, Chimika Green. Raven Harris. Mar Adams. <laughs> Ant Antonia Burnett. Diamond Bell. Deshaun Bolden. Aiden, 
Adrian Brooks. Antonio Brown. Dijon Brown. Nakia Burroughs. Kayla Cherry. Kamar Chester. Maya Clark. Mayan Davis. Ibriana Dorsey. Larry Douglas. Jasmine Duplantier. Antoine Dupree. Aliyah Edwards. Luis Flores. Tangier Floyd. Jamil Freeman. Raynell Gilcrest. Brianna Gladney. Duriel Paul. Kimberly Hayward. <laughs> Jennifer Hill. <laughs> Devin Hockaday. Sean Hoskins, DeAndre Johnson, Destiny Johnson. Dante Jones. Markira Jones. Tajay Cottrell. Ryan Lambert. Kamani Lewis.
Nasira Matthews. Shenard McCoy. Spinell McCray. Daquan McKnight. Kelly Newman. Brianna Parker. Devontae Parker. Diamond Pollard. Anthony Ross. Antonio Santos. Janaya Scott. Jasper Simmons. Makai Simuel. Carlos Smith. Keyshawn Brown. I'm Smith. Keyshawn Smith. Nelson Terry. Amanda Thomas. Dwayne Wheeler. And Cabria Williams. At this time, if we could please have a moment of silence for our two fellow classmates that we have lost along the way. That's Hezekiah Pettiford and Montrell Graham. Thank you. And at this time, I would ask all of my graduates to grab those tassels and flip them over. My families and friends, you'll be able to take photos on the concourse for about 15 minutes, and then after 15 minutes, we're going to have to ask you to move on to a separate location. Thank you so much.